Hello everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. We are in the second module. So in the second module, we have nearly 10 topics to understand. These, is the, these are the topics which is user interface essentials in Dynamics 365 Business Center. So let me just show you like uh, in this video, we'll be covering till this. Okay, that is the first five points. So first of all, let us understand what is user interface. So completely in this module, we will understand user interface, which is essential to the efficient use of business central. Okay, so the user interface in Microsoft Dynamics 365 business central consists of many different elements. You use some of these elements often when you are navigating in the business central. So this module specifically focus on the key user interface elements that you use in business central. So here on the top, you can see this is the app bar. So this is actually the app bar. Okay, so you can find here. So the app bar is at the top of your business central page. The app bar includes the elements that are shown in the uh, app launcher. So you can ch just check here. Once if you click, you can see that there is a uh, nine dots in the left top corner, right? So this is what app launcher. So if you click here, if you click here, it will open the app launcher for you. OK, you can see the app bar, which includes these elements. OK, you can explore what are the other apps you have. OK, if you click here, it will also take you to the other uh, other uh, apps which you have. OK, so the next one is you can personalize the app bar. So how you can personalize the app bar on the right side of your app bar, you can see various options. OK, so let us explore this one by one. So this is about your account. That is your name and that will be your account as well. So this is the account manager. And here you can see it's a help icon. We will explore everything one by one. And this is settings icon. And this is a notification icon. This is a search icon. And this shows the environment which you are working with. We will also understand about what is environment and everything. Okay. So first, let us understand about this settings icon. So you can personalize the app bar by selecting this settings icon. And then view all under this okay if you click on this you can see all under the m365 sections that is dynamics 365 business central where you can select your preferred theme so you can see if you uh, here you have m365 right if you just click on this view all you can see the themes which are available here so the default theme which they have given here if you want to change it to any other theme then you can set it as well so you can see on the top app bar which is changed to the different theme or if you wanted to just keep it as such then you can keep it so as i told uh, you have other settings as well like we will be understanding what is personalized design my settings everything step by step so here if you just click explore all app it will take you to if you have like if you have the paid version of that it will take you to the other apps which you have okay currently we have only the business central and if you just click here it will just take you to exploring all the apps okay so these are the apps which we have okay so this is the app launcher the microsoft 365 app launcher is a built into business central as well you can see microsoft 365 app launcher you can use the app launcher to quickly navigate to microsoft 365 apps and services that are available to you or to your recently used or viewed documents so if you are in a um, licensed environment you can see almost many uh, many applications here okay so uh, this is the, the, if you just click here, you can see like if you want to open it, if you want to pin this to the app launcher, so everything you can see here. Okay, these are the basic things in your uh, uh, app bar. So we have covered almost we have covered the first two topics that is introduction to business central user interface, understanding the app bar and its functionality, utilizing the app launcher for quick access, navigating business central main pages efficiently. So this is what we are going to check now how you can navigate to the business central. The main pages of business central that most people use is what the role center page. 
so this is what the role center page this page is customizable for each user and is discussed in more detail okay we will discuss this in more detail in the further upcoming videos but here you can understand that this is a role center page okay this is what so what does it mean like in the role center page you can see the complete information okay so you do most of your work in a list a document or a card okay so here you can see this is like a dashboard the role center page will look like a dashboard where you can see here there is a greeting message okay and you have a queues here okay these are all we have we will talk we will tell us as a queues here you can see all the metrics here and uh, company matrix and here you can see the um, uh, visualization as a chart okay and here the report box you can customize this okay so this is the role center page so in this page uh, most probably we will work with either a list page okay we have various types of pages i'll be discussing that one by one so don't worry so we will just understand we have nearly more than nine pages i think so here we will be often working with the list page document page and the card page okay so page is uh, a user that is a user who is directly interacting with a object we call it as a page so all three types of pages have a bar with actions that are relevant to the particular page so here you can see you have three types of pages right so all these pages we will have some actions okay we which will take us to any particular pages and the actions are almost the same for the individual card or a document or the list of the entities okay for example let us see here you can see there is it's a customer okay this is one page if you click here it will take you to one page okay if you click the customer it will basically take you to the one page so this is the list page okay how it looks list page which shows the list of the customers whom you have in this particular company so here you can see you have a canon uh, that is what uh, the customer id is mentioned here and what is the um, what is the revenue or what is the cost something which is shown here okay that is uh, sales whatever happened which is shown here this is the list page list page will show you the consolidated record or the data about any specific specific pages or table which you are trying to view and if you click on any list okay that is if you click on any one list it will take you to the card page okay it will take you to the card page so card page is specifically it show the data about us one single entity or the record so that is what we call it as a card page okay i have shown uh, the two important thing which is a list page and the card page so in the card page you can see the actions so this is what the action okay you can see here we have an action okay this is what i was talking about okay so any type of pages we can have a bar with the action so this is a bar where we have actions here okay if you click it will if you want to create a new uh, blank a blanket sales order document or sales return order or a finance charge so you can see various actions which you wanted to perform okay actions are almost uh, this actions will be same for a card or a document or even the list for every entity so here you can see the information about a specific customer okay so actions can also look differently or possibly not even be present depending on how you open the page okay in few pages you cannot see the actions as well so actions are customizable so all these things which will be developed by the technical uh, consultants so you will be just understanding what are the, these concepts so this is what so business central supports multiple browsers that each offer a variety of features and capabilities so the browser plays a significant role in the responsiveness and fluidity of the um, for the user interface okay so this is what uh, the card page how it looks if you wanted to create a new card page you can simply select this plus so here you can see just scroll down understand how it is just how the uh, pages are looking like what is a card page what is a list page and if you click here payment card then how it is working if you click on this drop down where it is taking you to and all these things you should understand
okay just select this select all the uh, groups so these are the groups so you can select all the groups and explore what happen what is happening here and you can just scroll down here and see what is happening here we'll be exploring about what all these talks about okay so what is this so as you understand these are the groups and these are the uh, records which we wanted to add okay and on the right side you can see we'll be understanding about what these things are okay these are the fact boxes so how you how this fact boxes you can customize it what is this attachment so everything you can just explore and see just type it go uh, uh, just explore it so this is what the today's uh, exercise you have you have to open the dynamics 365 business central uh, page okay and then you can see like what are all the what is the app bar what is app launcher what are the other icons are all about and you can click on any one link here which will take you to the list page and from that list page you can navigate to the card page and see we will understand about the document page and probably in the next video and finally i just wanted to stop with the tell me icon so you have one option called search okay this you can or uh, uh, you can tell us a tell me icon tell me okay tell me icon which is also commonly known as a search for a page so training content for business central typically refers to the search for the page okay search for the page they will be telling you to go and search for the page okay search can help you quickly to go to elements such as actions pages or reports find information about how to complete a particular task and discover additional apps and consulting services for business central for example you can simply click here select here this one okay it will take you to the search bar okay you can if you want to uh, open this you can even press the uh, shortcut key called alt plus q okay press the alt key and q along with that where it will take you to the search icon so when you start entering the characters for example if i am typing business customer okay if you start entering the characters it will automatically show you what are all the possible uh, data is available here what are the possible uh, pages or uh, you can see here okay so go to pages these are the pages which you have okay and you have 650 more pages which are uh, starting with cust and you can see go to the reports and analysis so these are the top searches which are available and even if you want to see some more uh, uh, some more results you can click here and uh, if you want to go for the documentation help then you can click here and if you want to get the microsoft store uh, source page help you can also select here okay these are the various app source which are uh, related to this okay so this is how like it searches and it will show you what are all the possible uh, pages list page if you click here show all then it will show you all the thing like list page which are available here and uh, if you go to the uh, reports and analysis it will show you what are all the reports which are available related to customer customer everything okay so this is how you can easily search for the um uh, tables or whatever you want so the tell me functionality also provides relevant help topics for the subjects that you searched for that is what i told you which is under the documentation so here you can select here and search help for customer for example if i am just completely typing this customer so where it will show you search help for customer so it will show you the documentation if you wanted to create a customer if you want to register a new customer then what how you can do it so all these things are possible with this search bar so yes i am just concluding this video that we have covered um, these topics today that is introduction to business central user interface understanding the app bar and its functions utilizing the app launcher for quick access to apps navigating the business central main pages efficiently and searching for specific pages using the search page for or tell me icon so today's exercise i'll be posting it in the blog or you can check the blog link in the description where you have to launch a business central uh, um, business central page and check how you can effectively uh, uh, understand all these concepts okay so i'll see you in the next video where we'll be understanding about managing personal settings and preferences accessing help resources taking guide tour from the business central for familiarization exploring the different types of pages in the user interface and using the role explorer to streamline your task okay take care bye bye